Well, hey there, everybody. It's Adam here at Cleveland Pound Performance, and today we're working on the 69 Charger. And some of you might have already seen some videos of us building this custom interior so far and all the work we put into it. Some of you might have not. But you can definitely go to our YouTube page and check out all those previous videos if you want to and see what it took to kind of get us to this point. But today I kind of want to go over what we have done, what's completed, and you can start to see the vision really come into fruition here. Let's go ahead and get started. We completely removed all of the 69 Charger components, dash related components from the car and started fresh. So this was originally sketched out on a piece of paper, kind of an idea. The idea was kind of brought from the front grille to bring it to the inside. So those front grills had the two kind of recessed headlight doors, the flip up headlight doors, and then they had that center peak with the vents on each side. So that's kind of what inspired this. We have got the two inlays on both sides, and then it comes to the center peak with vents on each side um, to really draw that inspiration from the front of the car to the inside of the car. As we start rolling through components, kind of looking like that, ain't, that isn't an old school steering column. Well, it's not, it's a C6 Corvette column. Uh, the reason why we use that is it's power telescoping. So it comes in and out roughly uh, about an inch and a half total travel. And it's also tilting. The customer wanted a like flat bottom steering wheel, modern wheel. So we're just using this one as mock-up right now. But he wanted that modern column look and feel. We have classic instrument gauges. Those are all mounted in place up here. And then as we continue further, we have four dash vents. All four mechanisms underneath are from a like 2014 Mustang. Um, there were the two center dash vents and they had like a, a cigarette lighter in the center. They were up here, but I cut them apart, made and machined these custom trim bezels and mounted that whole assembly behind. You can also see the other two that are down here in the corners. So you have four vents, two in the bottom corners and then two in the center. Then we have our Pioneer touchscreen radio. It's roughly, I believe a 10 inch screen. Can control it very nicely. It'll have a backup camera, um, control all of the speaker components that we're gonna be looking at here in a little bit. And then further across, we have our glove box, uh, kind of in process of the door, but this door is actually going to flip up and there is a whole glove box assembly underneath, which we can take a look at if I peel this tape up here. So there you go. You can see the glove box that'll be hidden underneath and all blended in and uh, kind of hides away and dis disappears once the door is closed. And with the, the face of this, we're looking at possibly adding some trim, putting that uh, old school like headlight door charger with the old school Mopar logo, maybe the name of the car. There's a lot of options that we have. It's kind of a place for us to continue to accent the car. All of this will be leather wrapped. So you'll be leather wrapped up top, padded, We've got our defrost vents. We've got our factory front edge of the 69 Charger dash here. And that's to keep this complex shape and how it attaches to the front of the windshield. We did change how the front of the dash attaches. So originally in these cars, you had to remove the windshield to get the dash out, which for us um, might cause some issues down the road if we ever need to service any of these multiple aftermarket components that are in here. So what I've gone ahead and did is all of these bolts that you can see lined across here, these are just actually locating pins. So these will remain in the car and the dash is able to slide back and out through other mounting locations that are on the sides and underneath the dash. So even with the windshield in this car, you can still pull this dash out in case you need to get it to some hidden component that's not easily accessible with the dash in the car. So we're gonna have leather wrapped on top, leather wrapped bolster, and then all of these components we painted or finished in a um, kind of an alternating color scheme. And there will be a light track that goes all the way around the dash. So it'll be nice accent lighting that'll finish off the inside of the dash and then come down into the center console will also be lit down into the center console. So we've got the center console just started to be built here. It's got two nice large pockets on either side. Your Dakota Digital uh, Vintage Air controller will be up here. Some other switches to control other functions of the car, cup holders, uh, shifters back here. And then we're still working on the rear kind of cubby area that'll be back further. And one thing you might see are these super cool Cadillac ATS-V seats that we've mounted in this car. So really nothing has been retained from the original 69 Charger. All of this is just one-off custom. 
or brought in from more modern cars to give it a more modern feel on the inside. So that's kind of a wrap up to this point. You can really see how this thing's all come together. We'll keep working on it, keep wrapping it up, and keep rolling on to other parts of this interior because we're gonna keep going backwards, center console, door panels, rear quarter trim, rear seat, package tray area. So this is kind of the start. We're rolling backwards. We'll go ahead and keep working and uh, keep making some progress. So that means that you guys also need to be checking back in to see more work that we're gonna be getting done here more videos and see this car really come to completion. Um, so go ahead and check back in, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all the goodies. Check out our website if you wanna see more build pictures of all the cars that we got going on here at Cleveland Power Performance. But let's go ahead and get back to work and start making some more parts for this car.